and that nothing happened and just walk on by? I supervise the program. She's one of my students. She's a friend. Well, you know, I really try not to confuse the two, but if you insist. Carly walked off the floor in the middle of her shift without permission. And it's not the first time. Carly? I had to. I did. And I am sorry. Maybe I shouldn't have, but I didn't think it was going to be such a big deal. I mean, it was almost time for my break, and all of my assignments were done. If you were a nurse, would you just disappear from the floor without telling anyone? Oh, Bobby, be fair. Fair to who? The patients and the other professionals who depend on her to be where she's supposed to be in case she's needed? Or perhaps the other students who manage to show up on time every day, prepared day after day, in spite of their personal problems? Did you bother to ask the nature of the emergency? Why do you always assume I don't know what I'm doing? You guys, please stop. Okay, the last thing that I want is you in a fight about me. It's not your fault, Carl. Well, maybe I should just get out of your sight lines for a while. I have to go back to work anyway. I am really sorry. I did not mean to cause any trouble, honestly. I didn't. You know, you're probably right. Not to barge again, maybe I shouldn't have done that. But it just seems to me that every time I see you and Carly together lately, you're coming down on her like a ton of bricks. It's no wonder that she's lost her confidence. Confidence? <laughs> Believe me, confidence is not that girl's problem. Do I hear you blaming me for her behavior? She is a kid struggling with no family and no money, and you of all people should empathize with that. Uh, you know, empathy is not what that girl needs. Now, look, honey, Carly may have scored very high on the entrance exam, and she may have wowed him in the interview, but it's been steadily downhill since then. I'm not making this up. She's unreliable and irresponsible, and it really drives me crazy the way you always jump to take her side. Well, when a student slides for no apparent reason, don't you try to find out what's wrong? I mean, I know you've done that in the past, so why is it different with Carly? Maybe she needs some help. Well, you know, it seems to me she got an awful lot of help when you volunteered us to pay her tuition. Oh, you're just never going to forgive me for that one, no, are you? No, no, not since it seems to have become your mission in life to protect poor little Carly from tyrants like me. You weren't a tyrant in the beginning. That's why she admired you and wanted to be your friend. Well, the best way she can show friendship to me is by becoming a dedicated nursing student. Otherwise, she's just wasting everybody's time. Look, we just get off the subject of Carly. Because the tension between us isn't really about her. And I think we both know that. Well, I'm not sure if you're aware, but ELQ is in serious trouble. What kind of trouble? Hostile takeover attempt is in the works, and Edward needs Ned to help fight it off. Well, I guess he should have thought of that before he tossed Ned out of CEO. Well, he's seen the error of his ways, and he's trying to toss him back in. And you need me to sign off on that? That's about the long and short of it. Explain something to me. Why, why can't a mega conglomerate like EOQ put the kibosh on takeovers by its lonesome? Well, uh, you know, ordinarily, it uh, wouldn't be a problem, but unfortunately, the pertinent information is being funneled through someone on the inside. Someone Edward has identified and terminated, I hope. As in fired, shown to the door, hasta la vista, baby? Well, it's not quite that simple. Look, I know that you prefer that I just, you know... <clears throat> Suggest everything you wanted without any questions attached, but that's not the way I operate. I like to make decisions that are fully informed, like any other businessman worth his salt. And you can go ahead and pass that amount to Edward if you like. Who's the leak? Well, it seems as though we have a team Tracy and Jax. younger my father used to quote at me from the bible in the farmer's almanac all of his favorite little sayings you know but the one that was his favorite was pride goes before the fall but now i know that that was right i was so proud of myself I thought I had a lock on 
how to handle the cues, you know, how to keep them out of my marriage, how to keep my baby out of harm's way. I thought I had it all figured out. Because, you see, they were so wrong. They were always yelling at each other, you know, when they were at each other's throats. I mean, what kind of a family is that, you know? But me, I, Lois, Cirillo, Ashton, I would never sink to their level. Until I did. Where was I when my priorities went so out of whack? Hey, why are you being so hard on yourself about this? Uh, you 